Mr. It doesn't look good. You know, as is the case elsewhere in the world, what we are seeing is that press freedom, unfortunately, is under threat. Journalists are under threat. And ultimately, it is citizens who really have the right to know that are effectively being uh, censored and not receiving the information that they should be because journalism is being criminal criminalized across the continent. Now, SCPJ Africa Program Director, what concerns you most about journalists on the continent? Uh, several things. Uh, first and foremost, I guess, just as I said to you, you know, the fact that journalists are finding that increasingly the work that they do is being criminalized. And so they are being detained, uh, for example. I mean, just, you know, on the eve of World Press Freedom Day. Now, in what ways does CPJ uh, protect uh, and empower journalists on the continent? In a variety of ways. Um, I think first and foremost, just the mere fact that journalists have the support of an international organization that can actually be their voice when necessary. Um, often you will see that journalists are not in a position to, uh, to speak freely in their own countries and they will turn to us. Uh, the other thing that we need to do and which we do do is just to ensure that journalists can, you know, can get the support from a variety of things, just in terms of their legal fees uh, when they need to go into exile. Um, but I think first and foremost, uh, the mere fact that we are there, you know, and putting their voices out there. What do you think uh, the future holds for journalists in Africa? I'm not going to say that everything is doom and gloom, right? Uh, and I, I mean, one has to have hope, and we do hope that, you know, journalists will not be under threat, not only by their own governments, but by, you know, uh, you know non-state actors. I mean, the fact that economically journalists are under pressure is obviously of, of a concern. But let me, let me end on a positive note, I guess. I think what we are seeing is some fantastic work coming out of the continent. We are seeing people doing some great things. Uh, journalism that is uh, collaborative, uh, you know, data journalism, you know, big projects where they are putting their governments under the spotlight and, and are surviving. So, um, yeah, in terms of innovation, the innovation is there in our continent. And so I, I want to be hopeful that journalism will continue to do what it must do. I say to journalists, don't give up. The work that you do is really important. You have the support. Sometimes you may feel that you're on your own. And let me just close off by saying, you know, I was once told that by a, a minister who will remain, um, remain nameless. He said to me, you have made a, num a nobody into a somebody. That was his words. Because what we were able to do, it's the local journalists at the coal press who are really under threat. And they need the support of international organizations, uh, you know, not only international, even re regional solidarity to ensure that they know that they have the protection, that when it is in terms of reprisal, that they will have support from elsewhere and they will be able to continue, continue to do their work. So it is up to us to ensure that we are able to focus and we do uh, the world's attention on journalists in Africa.